The gentlewoman from Texas is recognized. Members are reminded to direct their comments to the chair. Uh, how grateful I am to be on the floor with the distinguished gentleman from New York and, of course, our distinguished ranking member uh, who has uh, really laid out uh, the parameters of this legislation. Uh, I certainly acknowledge uh, the manager of this uh, underlying legislation and uh, offer my thoughts uh, with a little bit of consternation. Uh, I cherish the Constitution and cherish the First Amendment. It is first for a very reason. The Founding Fathers were wise enough, even with some of the failings of the Constitution, including the existence of slavery. But they were wise enough to understand that the core of democracy is, in fact, the freedom to express, the freedom to associate, the freedom to access, the freedom of religion. And the First Amendment captures all of those elements. I am somewhat uh, lost to connect this legislation to the protection of free speech. I do know that this is part of the unending obsession that my friends on the other side of the aisle have with Mr. Biden, uh, President Biden, and his son. Uh, all investigations that are relevant and that are concerning the American people's integrity or national security are important. But how do you stretch this legislation to suggest that it is a question of free speech uh, in the decisions being made to hold or not hold on purposes that may be business purposes for all we know, Mr. Speaker? It may not be free speech. And I would offer to say that there are many other instances that free speech has been stifled uh, we cannot discuss the history of African Americans through the misrepresentation of the critical race theory. Uh, we are getting orders in our states like Texas to not engage in diversity, equity, and inclusiveness. Uh, so I would just argue Gentlewoman's time has this expired. bill does not deal 30 seconds more. Gentlewoman has yielded 30 seconds. This bill does not deal with free speech. Uh, this bill uh, is a got you bill. And I would ask my friends if we can, in a coordinated manner, discuss some of the important issues of the day that really need addressing. I know that we'll do the debt ceiling in months to come, but I would argue that we should protect the First Amendment, give everybody a right to freedom of speech and freedom of what they hear. And if they would join me on that, I would welcome uh, their support in what true free speech is. We can hear and we can speak. Time that is expired. important. I yield back.